right, we're checking out the only game. We're putting cars against spiral roads. Makes you spiral down the pathway to insanity. It's GTA. Say hello to cars against spiral roads, except the spiral roads are meant to make me hate myself. Staircase spiral road. Well, it is what it says it is on the package. I'll tell you that. I love that we also apparently are timed while trying to do this. That makes me super happy. 15 seconds, A. Eh? You may be saying to yourself, great. Why are you using the hideous quad to try and do this with? Listen, you never know. This thing has performed well in the past, and honestly, it goes downhill quite strongly. As long as I remember to turn. Oh, okay, the time goes by a little bit faster than I thought it would. I actually kind of wonder, can you just cheat that? <laughs> All right. Fair enough. I guess it was the obvious thing that you need to think of when I'm involved in trying to do a board. What is? Are you done? Are you done? I guess he's done. Oh, you can climb over the wall. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a, an instant when I could climb over the invisible wall. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, if you send it full speed the whole time, maybe we'll have a chance to make it, but I need to shave off an entire second from my run. Right now, you I can kind of feel it too. If I just, ah, let's try to cut that corner. All right, I'm gonna give it one last try. We're gonna go from outside to inside, but the turn radius on this thing is not really fantastic. Gonna pull it inside, then go to the outside and close, but no cigar. The only thing I got from this is my head penetrating the tire. Whoa, okay. I may have just been slurped by the ground. I don't like being slurped by the ground. I know, just trust me on this, I have an idea. Never have I seen a more appropriate license plate than sad. Now, something I'm noticing is that the stop barriers to keep you from going to the next section of the challenge are remarkably low. Oh my God, the turning radius on this thing is God awful. Oh yeah. Oh, it just does terrible going down the hill here. My plan is to just jump over it. So line it up and boop. <laughs> I almost got there. God, Sharp, you can do it. Just one time in your life, don't be a failure. Hey, got it. Oh, I never thought I would see the day when this thing could finally complete one challenge. Thinning asphalt spiral. Well, after we completed our one thing, we're screwed. There's no way it's doing this. The Sherp cannot wall ride at all. I went all the way back so I could curb boost, like as if though I was going to get extra speed doing that. I was wrong. Ow. Uh. It's kind of like landing on some fluffy depression. All right, we're going legit. Oh yeah, low. Like a low chance for me to survive or low to the ground? I guess those two things don't really have to be mutually exclusive. It could be both. Oh, oh you lose traction a lot on this thing bouncing down these stairs. In fact, I don't know if I can get past the very first challenge in this car. If I can just get through this, I think this will do great the rest of the way. The problem is the stairs. There's always some kryptonite waiting for me on any one of the challenges, no matter what kind of car I pick. In the grand scheme of terrible ideas, this was one of them. I need something that could deal with a little bit of bounce, but also has some speed. I already know what I'm picking. Oh, the color palette on this. It's like hot dogs. I love it. Ketchup and mustard. Oh yeah. Oh, the corn dog mobile's doing pretty good. It, uh, it stays strong going down these stairs. Like it keeps good speed. Hey, with a full half second to spare. There you go. Does it have the speed to do a spiral wall ride? Probably. I think so. It feels like it does. Oh yeah. Whoa, maybe not. Okay, this is okay. What I'm gonna do is keep all my speed and we're just gonna go. We're gonna go full speed all the way. That little bit of curb boosting Big spiral, sticks to landing, goes flying off. There goes my bumper, full backflip onto the tires, onto the hood, got brain damage, and the hood finally flies off. Come on, full curb boosting, full curb boosting. Go, 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 stay inside, stay inside. Yeah! Oh, we're gonna get it. Oh, 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 yeah! No, I had it! I'm not giving up on this thing. Oh my God. I'm not giving up on this thing. I know it can do it. There we go, that's clean, that's super clean. And completion of the second challenge, nice. I told you the corn dog mobile could do it. Tube, 
Spiral Road. Are you going inside the tube or are you going outside the tube? Guess we'll find, ooh, 44 seconds, huh? That's a long tube. All right, let's find out how long 44 se- Really? You put down a slowdown stick right in the beginning? It's not hard, I would say. You can just stay on top of this gigantic spoiled piece of arugula spaghetti or whatever this is supposed to be. It's some sort of vegetarian pasta is what it reminds me of. Uh, I have no idea how much time has gone by. I also really don't know because uh, you kind of start to slide out to the side. Oh, there's a lot more pasta to go. Oh, carbalicious. Okay, keep the speed. All you gotta do is keep the speed, Grace. Stay on the center line. Maybe a little inside the center line, but mostly the center line is... Uh, mostly the center line is good. When you start to pull... Yeah, when you start to pull out to the left, you just go peeling off. It can't hold the traction. All right, I'm gonna try and lean this a little bit into the right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's... I'm starting to wonder if this thing can do it. Now I now I kind of want something lower to the ground with more downforce. But the problem is if I have too much downforce and it's too low to the ground, I can't complete the first challenge. I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. On the plus side, I managed to get to the end. On the negative side, I was nowhere near making it. All right, here's the plan. We're going to wall ride this. <laughs> it's the only way I can think of to keep a ton of speed while, oh, this is really weird to do. A ton of speed while attempting to complete the challenge. The problem is the back end is bouncing all the time because it's not, oh God, ah, it's not flat. So you just like, it pulls you down to the ground almost. That's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of halfway, half between the wall ride and the sticking on the top, right about here, like uh, three o'clock. Well, not three o'clock, it's more like two o'clock. Well, now we're at about 1.30. Really need to move back down to about two. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. As long as it doesn't try and drown me, every once in a while I can feel the dead cold hands of the afterlife attempting to pull the car downward to the ground. Am I getting anywhere? Wow, I am not close enough. So we need to go a lot faster. Uh, oh God. This is probably a terrible idea, but this car does have STD, so you never know. Okay. Wow, this performed much, much, much worse than I could have ever foreseen. I'm gonna try and cheat it. There's no way. All right, we're just gonna go for the Draugr. The Draugr should check box all of the markings for vehicular superiority. Well, I would think so. It's kind of not performing as well down the stairs as I would have thought it would. We're probably still gonna make it, but it's gonna be close. Ah, okay, that was way closer than I thought. I mean, we made it. We also got lobotomized by it. Now the asphalt spiral, the Draugr should do this very easily. The Draugr gets plenty of speed in spirals. Look at that right there, no problem. First try, Blah, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm gonna land on this roof now. Ugh. Almost lost the entire shroud of this vehicle. Okay, I just need to come out of this turn with a little bit more ease and don't over correct. There we go, got it. All right, tube spiral. I'm ready for the 44 seconds of the worst time in my life. I hate that. I hate that there's a slowdown stick there. I could probably do this so much easier if that didn't exist. Ah, uh, it definitely. Uh oh, hold on. Oh god, it definitely feels better than the other vehicle. I feel much, much faster on this. Probably because the suspension on the back side of the of the car is so much better. Man, it keeps throwing me off though. I kind of try and look ahead to see where the end is and then I end up not steering and I go way off to the left and almost go flying off the tube. I've got to be getting close, right? Like, oh, okay. That's the first time that I've seen, we can make it in this 100%. I was going to say that was the first time that I got to see the barrier before it was already up. So I'm feeling real good about this. I just need to not fly off. You can see my tire marks on where I screw up every once in a while. It's kind of the same place over and over again. I've got a history of bad choices, all right? And I like to be consistent in my bad choices. I always make them in exactly the same place. Every single... <laughs> I did it again! I can't believe I just went on a giant exposition on how I always mess up in the same spot. And then I did indeed mess up in exactly the same spot. You know, I'm gonna mess up in a different spot today. I know this thing can make it. I don't know why I'm causing so much extra heartache for myself. I should just be able to ride the gigantic death spiral of like water park insanity down to the bottom. I need to not 
let it pull me off to the left quite so much, though. All right, I think we're going to have it. I think we're going to have it. Oh, yeah. And there we go. And I still had, like, two seconds left. That's not bad. All right, what else you got for me? Uh, hot potato spiral. But instead of a potato, it's a bomb. Oh, great. Great, so if you have the hot potato, you're not out. You just die. Oh, the hot potato is uh, very violently pulsating inside of that cage of destiny. 69 seconds. I always have to wonder if you really timed this or if you just picked it because it's 69. I guess my question is how hot is your hot potato? Wow! You got hot potatoed. I did? Does it... Is that a bad thing? Am I gonna die? Ah! Oh, the potato is totally sticking with me. The potato just murdered me out of the sky. The potato is now rolling me. It is rolling me inside of the prison. I am becoming mashed potatoes. The potato is in fact mashing me. After a lifetime of potato abuse, the potato is finally getting revenge. It's not my fault, everyone. I have a hot potato. It is trying to violate me. I can't. Hold on. Oh, 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 whoa. <laughs> I am Magneto. I am the most powerful person in all of GTA. I rise above all of the challenges. You didn't foresee this, did you, Alex? I'm number one. <laughs> Hold on. I got <laughs> to get back down to the challenge. <laughs> it's still following me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and ow. I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh my god. Oh, the hot potato is very, very fast. No! In case any of you are wondering, I did indeed get hot potatoed. Okay, this is absurd. Trying to stay on this spiral while keeping the amount of speed that you need as the hot potato is, is chasing you is like impossible. Oh, I landed on a different part of the roadway. I cheated a whole section. All right, I'm gonna try this one more time. Well, I, never mind. I got hot potatoed immediately. Ah! Okay, we're okay. It hasn't touched me yet. Although it is levitating about. Oh, six inches from my bumper for God's sakes! Don't do it! Please! Whatever Alex is paying you, I'll pay you double. Ah! I'm falling to my death and I got hot potatoed. We need a different car. I have no idea what here has any chance. I'm gonna try the e-car. The Peace Mobile? No, I, I thought about it, but there's no way. Okay, we've got traction. We've got pickup. Really what we needed was acceleration and this thing has it. It just depends on how well, oh wow, it spins out really easily. I guess it has traction if it's not flying off the ground. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this. Okay, I've been at it for a little while. I've kind of got down the speed that you need to do this. It looks like you're doing it kind of slow, but it's really not that bad as long as you don't fishtail the entire back end out. There you go. Wow, I just barely made that. Oh God. Asphalt spiral, super easy in this. Like, this thing sticks to the ground when you're doing these spirals like glue. If there was a better wall ride than this, this thing would have no trouble. Oh! Whoa, at least I made it through that teleporter. <laughs> it should do okay on this too. Uh, just because, again, the wall riding capability is great and the pickup is fantastic. So even if I kind of just idle my way through a lot of this wall ride area, I can use the acceleration to pick up a lot of the speed that I leave behind when I'm just kind of idling. So right now, feels pretty good. You don't want to bounce too hard or the back end will go absolutely nuts. And then I'll go jettisoning off to the left. The other thing I want to make sure is, is as it dips, it has a tendency to... I have to correct the, my steering a little bit harder, basically, when it dips down. Like it just did right there. Right there. Okay, feeling strong. Again, that right there is the area that I have a tendency to go flying off at. But now that we made it past that, we should be able to wrap around this last area. Punch it at the end, and there you go. All right, hot potato. Are you fast enough to deal with all of the D batteries? Oh, yeah, we're getting space now. Uh, the turn radius on this thing isn't, like, incredible, but because it has so much pickup, I can stay ahead. Oh, there's, uh, there's little obstacles here. I never got to see them because I never got this far. We're doing good, though. This is good. If I wanted to, I could probably even curb boost. There we go, just a little bit. You can see how close... 
it's sticking to the car. It's tough trying to give you guys a visual look at the distance between the hot potato and my car. I oh my god, potato really? No! Don't worry. It's just Grace still plays blown up again. Oh yeah, this is a good run. Oh, this is a great run. I got I got the oh god, hold on. Uh, there we go. I've got the muscle memory down. I know exactly how much input for the turns and how much acceleration to do. Okay. I as long as I can do this in 69 seconds, because I'm all my concentration. Whoa, 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 whoa. All my concentration is getting me killed right now. Ow. Well, this sucks. Okay, I'm coming up on a new. Whoa! I was so close to coming up to a new personal best. My favorite flavor of ice cream is murder. And let me tell you, I'm getting two scoops of murder here. Like this is a large 100%. I thought I, I thought it may have touched me, but I think I was just a couple inches ahead of it. We've got to be getting close to the end. Well, I've never seen those before. I, I'm definitely at a point that I've never been to before on this challenge. So here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're flat, we're flat, we're flat. Go, 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 go. Yeah! So I guess there's like there was like a little blue scripty thing, and when the ball goes through it, it eventually turns off. It just took a while. Spiral road, but it's only a quarter of it, and it drops every 1.5 seconds. That makes absolutely no sense. Get out of my way, bomb. You've hotted your last potato. Now drop to your death. All right, climb the gigantic hill of destiny. What is this? It is a single sad piece of road attached to a giant hole. All right, we'll trigger it and see. Okay, I was gonna say, we'll trigger it and see what happens. So, ah! It drops down like a foot every couple of seconds. Well, every 1.5 seconds, I guess. So I'm gonna have to, like, time getting on this? Okay, I had to wait and, do, and wait till this thing got all the way back to the top, because I, oh, wow. Oh, this is weird to do. I wanted to be level to start it, but man, those 1.5 second drops, there's no traction at all. Man, every part to this challenge now, uh, all of it has given me some level of trouble. There we go. No. Recover. No. Yes. Here we go. We just need to stay as straight as possible. And if you lose the back end at all, like that, oh god. Oh no. Oh, go backward. No! There's no way to recover. All right, I'm gonna give this one last shot. I don't know what we can use that has better traction. Yeah, we're gonna need something better. There's three options, and this one seems like it's the best. Also, I feel like this was a troll, but it has a license plate that says winner. Usually, the one that says winner is not the winner, but now I kind of wonder. All right, how does it do against the dropping staircase? Uh, yeah, it feels okay. Back end comes out a little bit. You do have to drift it. But it's not bad. The acceleration is kind of like right in the middle of all the other accelerations. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. The asphalt, I have done a lot of wall riding in this. So, ooh, lost a little bit of a, uh, I lost a little bit of the grip right there. All right, let me try this with slightly more concentration so that I don't get my neck choked out by the spiral. There we go, perfect through the teleporter, 44 seconds. I can tell you on this right now, it feels very good. Bouncing, there is a little bit of bounce on the wall ride, but there's actually a lot less loss of control on the bouncing than all the other cars. Wow, I just barely made that, man. You do not get a lot of time to get through this thing. All right, hot potato. Oh yeah. Oh, the traction is very consistent. Oh, it's very consistent. The acceleration is very consistent too. It's kind of hard to spin this thing out doing this turn. In fact, I would say it feels the best on this turn. Oh my God, could this happen first try? Ooh. Ah! All right, well, maybe second try. <laughs> right on the fence. I got RKO'd by the fence and blown up. What are the chances of getting obliterated by the fence? I really don't know. Anyway. This run doing good. I just need to stay very close to the middle. The middle is really the safest area. And there we go. Nice. Give it up, Bomb. There we go. All right. How does it do on the drop spiral? Uh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is good. 
You just gotta take your, you gotta take your foot off of the accelerator. Kind of when you're dropping now and again, it, oh God, it really helps you recover. Whoa, all right, I need a lot more speed. Hold on, I vastly underestimated. Maybe you need to keep your foot on the accelerator a bit more than I was. Come on. Oh, this is, this is working, this is working. We're kind of staying in the middle, that's good enough. Well, how long do I have to do this for? No! I landed inside of a car graveyard. Stay in the line. Stay, color within the lines, okay? But it, it's just different because unlike, you know, second grade, you don't get ridiculed, you get martyred. Well, maybe you do get murdered in second grade. I guess it depends on where you go to school at. If you're in Newark. Oh God, that might be a legitimate lesson plan for an elementary school. Every time this thing drops, I feel like I'm gonna die. There is no greater tension around my heart ventricles than this thing trying to kill me all the time. It's like the heartbeat of death right here. What is that, like 20 beats a minute or something? Oh, did I get it? Am I there? How long? What do you do now? What do you, oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got it. Oh my God! I look behind me and I see never ending death and sadness. I look in front of me and I see total freedom and that means that we have a winner. Well, I did the spirals and I got blown up by a gas tank. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.